We started off from a brand new file from scratch. We went up to the file menu, chose new, and created a brand new solution. Didn't use any one of the starter solutions, just typed in the name and started going to creating everything. Now, we planned the solution also. That started with interviewing people, whether it was you know, uh, your clients or the employees at your work. We then transformed a real life scenario into electronic form using data modeling techniques. We created an entity relationship diagram or ERD. That's the architectural plans for your database. And then we had a formal requirements document, which sometimes could be an outline, but I showed you one and gave you a download for a PDF as an example. Then we went into Manage Database and created all the great things there. We have our tables. So we created one for contacts, companies, phones, addresses, and internet. That's emails and websites. Now there'll be more tables here, of course, as we go along. And you probably, during the planning stage, would have created them already. Uh, designed them and created them, but since this is a, a learning tutorial, I can do things out of order, but I want to mention that normally you'd do this right up front. And then of course we created all the fields that go along with those tables. There are data entry fields like our address and address2, that was when we had the flat file, they're now located in another table of course called addresses. We have our age, that's a calculation field so we can calculate the result of their age based on the current date and the date of their birth. And there's all kinds of things in here we did. You know, we have our housekeeping fields, don't forget those ones. Stamp create, stamp modify, and then back up here, account create, account modify. We put those in every table because they're very important for tracking what's going on with your system. Maybe somebody's deleting a record, or I shouldn't say deleting, you won't catch that, you'll have to go to a backup for that, but maybe somebody's editing a record and making a lot of mistakes and you want to see who was the last person who modified this. We also went ahead and created our relationships. That connects our tables together. We use the anchor buoy system whereby we have groups of sets here. You can see the blue set here. These are not related to the green set. They're completely unrelated, and so we have the anchor of our contacts, our companies, which all the layouts are based on, and then we might be duplicating a lot of relationships and table occurrences here, but that's okay because it organizes these better. We can better go down to the section we want. We can go down to the company section and see what we need. It also helps us in layout mode when we're putting a field on the layout. It just better organizes everything with the anchor buoy system, and it takes a while to get used to, but it's actually really quite simple. There's not much to it. Click OK here, and now remember that we also created a form and a list view. Remember that FileMaker is all about finding, listing, and form. It's just like a Google find. You type in your criteria for your Google, it goes ahead and gives you a list, and then you go ahead and click on that item, and it goes to that website, which is the form. It's the same idea. You do a find, you go to list, you hear, see your hit list, you click on the one you want, you go, oh, okay, maybe I want to go back and see another one. So that's kind of the idea here, so that's why form and list are so important. We also created portals and related fields. You can see we have related information from companies right here. We have our portals here. We have related contacts through a self-join relationship. All kinds of great stuff. We have a notes, we have maps. All kinds of things are, are included here. We did quite a bit in that first video. Uh, it's amazing how much you can get accomplished in you know just a little over eight hours. On top of that, we created a bunch of scripts. Now this is the stuff I love to do. It automates what you're doing. You know, instead of having the person, you know, uh, you know, the person who's using that database have to look at all of the you know the menu items in FileMaker and all the features and learn the entire program, you can automate that process for them and even go so far as to make programming features because FileMaker is just not about automation, there's a programming aspect to it as well. So quite a few scripts we created here, it's quite amazing. In fact, I don't really usually like to show them under the menu, so I'm going to take that one off right there. And we also have all these things in the co company's layout. We made a, a duplicated our contacts form and then made the modifications we needed for the company's form and made a dynamic script to adapt so we didn't have to make a bunch of scripts. In fact, we made adaptive scripts for uh, going from list to form. 
but also for deleting portals and adding new contacts. All great stuff. And this is just a short refresher to say, see how far you've gone. In, in, you know, when you do this, you kind of remember all the processes you went through. You may not be reviewing every single detail, but just watching this video will really help you to, you know, revisit everything you've done and, and cement it inside your mind. So I always recommend for people to go over the video several times. In fact, some people, what they'll do is watch the whole video series and then go watch it again. But the second time, they'll actually build it. The first time, they just watched it. It's really up to you how you do this, but, you know, it's very important to review, I think, to, to do this stuff to get it cemented in your brain so you really understand it and vibe it.